Ariel, this was the moment that that statewide search on Friday came to an end. Dustin Duran surrendering to police in Keene. His one and four year old daughters found unharmed. News 9 obtained the booking photo for the 37 year old now charged with second degree murder for allegedly shooting and killing the girl's mother, Caitlin Nafziger in Berlin. Those arrests coming hours after police triggered a statewide Amber Alert. The public uh, helped in this case, and they most definitely provided information to law enforcement. Janelle Rasmussen is the National Amber Alert Administrator. Her organization coordinates and trains first responders across the country on how to trigger an Amber Alert. And we train everyone to be prepared in those areas, and it does make a difference because when a child is abducted or missing, time is of the essence. We have to get that information out to the public quickly. We have to ask for their help. According to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, more than 1,100 kids have been found safe and returned home since the Amber Alert system was introduced in the 1990s. For an alert to be triggered, the missing child must be younger than 18 years old and be in imminent danger. They're going to look into a number of different investigative uh, resources that they have available to them. But when they feel that it's appropriate to ask for the public's help in that response, they're going to do an Amber Alert activation. Friday's alert blasted out messages over the air, on road signs, and to thousands of cell phones around New Hampshire. Investigators crediting the successful end to the search to the flood of tips that came pouring in. We also want to thank the citizens in the state of New Hampshire for paying attention when this Amber Alert went out, for paying attention to their phones, for looking around them. <laughs> Experts say they want Amber Alerts to be the opposite of car alarms, something that's loud but easy to ignore. That's why they're saved for the most serious situations. We want to reserve them for those where we really feel that the child is in serious danger, like in this case in New Hampshire. Now, investigators say those two children in this case were taken into the care of the State Department of Children and Families. Duran is set to be arraigned on Monday. Ross Ketchke, WMUR News 9.